the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. John 8, 12 says, Then Jesus spake again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. You, having the light of life, you. Jesus left us to be that light. Because the light is in the Holy Spirit, and we need to show that let our light shine. Let our light shine. It shouldn't be hidden. It should be able to be, be able to see, so people can see we're walking in light, so that those that are in darkness can see the light. And the light that we're pointing to is Jesus Christ, and that <laughs> Jesus Christ is pointing to the Father. That's the light that we're pointing to. That's what we're focusing on. That's what we're going to. Amen. Aha! Look at this. In Matthew 5, 13, salt and light. He said, you, you, you are the salt of the earth. You. That conform to the image of the sun. You that are called to go and preach the gospel. You that have been equipped by five-fold ministry gifts to do the work of the ministry. You. 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 Even the pastor, they got to they can live life every day too. They go out and meet people in the street as well, too, right? <laughs> it says right here, you. Make that personal. Ken Taylor. Ah, you. We. are we. There you go. Christian. We are the salt of the earth. Hey, glory to God. But if the salt has lost its savior, where will shall it be salted? It is his for good for nothing, but be cast out and be trodden on the foot of men. But you, you, verse 14, you, we, we, glory to God, we are the light of the world. We are the light of the world. Listen what I'm just saying, we, are make it personal you are we the body the church the church let me come off of this for a second the church <laughs> listen listen i gotta come off this. i want you to see it you we are the light of the world we are the light of the world the world looks at us and if we operate listen those are uh, God is going to call people to listen to these words. If you operate in darkness and yet you're supposed to be the light, God is saying is that He's you are not representing Him if you operate in darkness, but you call yourself light. If you get look, racism, if you are racist, whether you're white, black, or brown, you can't not be the light if you're not up you can't be light and darkness at the same time you can't hate and be light at the same time what is it there's something wrong for any of us to sit there and don't understand our calling we are the light of the world and if you are uh, if you are you are play superiority you play uh hate you play uh being uh evil you you're not representing god you're not representing God. You are the light of the world. That's what you're supposed to be. And if you're the light of the world, how can you hate your brother? Well, he's black, white, or brown. How can you do that? How can you do that and you're the light of the world? Do you know that means that if you hate your brother, you're not the light of the world? Do you know, Pastor, tell your congregation, tell yourself that if you hate your brother, you're not the light of the world. You're darkness. You're evil. If you can't forgive one another, then you're not the light of the world. The light forgives people because Christ forgave us. God forgave us through the blood of Jesus. The Holy Spirit wants to call people and reconcile people to the world. And if you're playing hate, if you're playing disqualification, you're not the light of the world. You are supposed to be the light of the world. And if you operate in hate, 
if you operate in distrust, you operate in criminality, all of those stuff, you're not being light. God wants you to be the light. Don't be a disqualifier. Be light. So people can see that light. Amen. Let's go back to these scriptures again. Because I mean, that's what matters, right? Are you the light? Ask yourself, are you the light of the world? Are we the light of the world? He said, you, are you the light of the world? And if you hate people because of the color of their skin, whether they're white or black or brown, and you hate them, are you the light of the world? Are you saying that you're superior and better than somebody because of the color of the skin and the nationality of their faith? Are you the light of the world? Are you being the light of the world? You're not. But if you love one another, then you're being light. Shining in the dark. But that's, that's what you want, right? You want to bring people into the light. Look at this again. In verse 13, Matthew 5, 13, you are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has lost its savor, where will shall it be salted? It is henceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and be trodden under the foot of men. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on the hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel. The Holy Spirit, didn't put, he don't want to put you under a bushel but on a candlestick and it giveth light unto what? All that are in the house. <laughs> Glory to God. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Huh? Did you see that? Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. I'm going to read that again. I'm going to come off the screen and talk about us. He said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good work and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Hey, come on now. Listen. <laughs> you see, if you're showing hate and in, in, indifference, if you're showing intolerance, if you're showing that somebody is black, that you're superior to somebody else because you're black, or you're superior because you're white, or you're superior because you're brown, if you're saying that you're superior, if you're saying that you're better than somebody else, you're not showing, you're not letting your light shine. You are called to let your light shine before men that they may see your good works so you can glorify your Father in heaven. That's why we get all mixed up. We sit there and try to glorify a man. We sit there and try to glorify a pastor. We sit there and try to glorify a congregation. We sit there and try to glorify a race or no, an ethnic group of people. There's only one race, a human race. Hey, glory to God. Who you sit there and try to take the human race and then put use their skin as jersey. And then you sit there and say, I'm going to glorify this group of people here and you're not glorifying God your light must shine so that you can glorify God listen pastors ministry is equipping the saints to do the work of the ministry your whole purpose of life is to glorify God equip the saints to glorify God equip the saints to glorify God Equip the saints to glorify God, not you, not our race of colors, not white, not black, not brown, but to glorify God. We have to glorify God. We got, got time to glorify our political party. We got time to glorify some people that sit there and, 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 and have more money than you, so you want to glorify a rich man. It ain't about glorifying a rich man. It ain't glorifying a, uh, glorifying a black man or glorifying a white man or brown man. It ain't about glorifying them. It's glorifying God. Let your life shine so that you can glorify God. And Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life so that you can go to the Father to glorify him. We're supposed to please him. We're supposed to glorify him, letting our life shine. 
That's what he's asking us to do. That's what we're called to do. Let your light so shine so you glorify God. That's the title for that, isn't it? Let your light shine so you can glorify God. God daily so you can glorify God. Not physical for those that got continental thoughts, no spiritual. Let your light shine so you can glorify God. I'm saying it so you can get it in your spirit. Let your light shine. Let our light shine so we can glorify God. Let our light shine so we can glorify God. Let our light shine so we can glorify God. It's about glorifying the Father. That's what he wants us to do, to glorify him. We're created to worship him, not man. Nobody wants to worship man. You know that. We don't want to disqualify. We, God wants all men. His will for all men to be saved. So let's go ahead and just call others into the gospel. Call all others to go to Jesus because he's the way to get to the Father. His blood covers the sin. His blood covers your sin. We need to glorify God. Remember that. I mean, if you can't get nothing else out of the video, if you only spend a few seconds listening to the video, just remember that. It's about glorifying God. We want to glorify God. Well, verse 16 is what I was talking about. It says, <laughs> let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. That's Paul. That's your daily walk. Letting your light shine, not for the please people, not for to glorify yourself, but to glorify God. If we can get that point, man, oh, man, I think that, 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 that almost wrapped up the message by ourselves, doesn't it? is to glorify God. That's what we want to do. And I want to close out in John 17. I don't know if I'll be able to finish uh, or should finish the entire chapter, but I will since it's just me on the panel today. And it's about the scriptures anyway, right? And, and I hope I think you got what I'm coming from is to glorify God. That is what you're calling me. Let your light shine so you can glorify God. That is your calling to renew your mind so you can glorify God. That is your call so you can conform to the image of the Son. So that they when, when people look, they look at him, they see him, they see the Holy Spirit in you, operating in you, if we let our light shine. Whoa, glory to God, man. That's powerful.